Hypotrace is the University of Wisconsin-Madison Spalding Lab's solution to accurate automated seedling hypocotyl growth measurements. This application can be used for a variety of different types of experiments, such as photoreceptor function studies or hormonal signaling studies. To get started with image analysis in Hypotrace, you must first examine your image stack to ensure high-quality images. In high-quality image stacks, there should be no slipping of the seedling at the base, loss of focus on the seedling throughout the measurement time period, or visual obstruction of the apical meristem. For this particular example, we have grown wild-type Arabidopsis seedlings under red light. When you have a high-quality image stack, you can open Hypotrace and select this image stack for analysis. Click Select Path and then choose your image stack. After loading your image stack, select the range of images to be analyzed. It is important that you use TIFF files named in a numerical time series. Select your start image, stop image, and step size. Next, adjust the binary threshold parameter. Drag the slider to the right to make the seedling image lines as dark and sharp as possible, but without creating background noise. Select your run speed for your experiment. Hypotrace offers three different options for image analysis. In the manual option, you make manual endpoint selections for every image in the stack. For the semi-automatic option, you make manual selections for the first seven images, and then the program makes the rest of the selections automatically. Finally, in the automatic option, Hypotrace makes all endpoint selections for you. Select whether you would like to see the seedling displayed throughout the runtime. Selecting the Display Off option will allow the program to run more quickly, but then you do not have the option of seeing where Hypotrace is making endpoint selections. After you have made all of your parameter selections within Hypotrace, click Run. Hypotrace prompts you to make an area selection for your seedling of interest. Click and drag to create a box around your seedling. When measuring growth rate, it is unnecessary to include the entire length of the hypocotyl in your selection box, as this will increase processing time. Instead, make a selection including both the original image, shown in black, as well as the final image, shown in white. The program will begin to run immediately following this selection. Hypotrace will prompt you to make endpoint selections. Multiple red circles will be displayed, indicating various points the program has identified as possible endpoints of the hypocotyl. Click on the point that most accurately identifies the apical meristem. If you are ever unsure about your point selection, you can right-click on the point to see the projected result in the graphs at the right panel. An ideal image selection will have a green line on the highest peak in the intensity graph and an upward trend on the length graph. Continue making image selections until each image in your image stack has been analyzed, then save your results. When completed, a good data set will give a smooth length curve. A length curve with large spikes or drops indicates that endpoints were selected incorrectly at some point during the analysis. To download the Hypotrace program, please visit the project page at phytomorph.wisc.edu. To contact us or learn about other Spalding Lab projects, please visit our lab website.